to YouTube, it's Rico, man, and I'm back with another video, man. Y'all see what we got going on, man. We got Kodak Black, Super Gremlin, so y'all know what time it is, man. If you're brand new to the channel or you've been watching videos on the channel but not yet subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button now. Also, don't forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well, and hopefully they become supporters of the channel. And make sure you guys smash that like button and comment on the video to help the video get recommended to a large audience of people and hopefully bring in new supporters to the channel as well. And also, don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified when I drop new videos. And be sure you don't miss out new videos that I drop. Check out the channel every day before you go to bed, sometime in the morning when you wake up or sometime throughout the day in general. And also, don't forget to add and follow me on social media, man. Go turn my social media up. But with all that being said, start the stream record. That started and we starting to vid now. When we could be superstars, we've been round and wrecking cars. And bro, is that jambo? What is that safe for us? Kick it up, call on the rest. Yeah, we could be superstars, but I'm pretty sure our time is up. And so we fell off the spinning tops. Don't forget to Say you my nigga, I'ma be your killer, nobody gon' play with you when I'm with you Go against any nigga, like fuck this glitter, skeet all third on bitches I put it in for you, I spend for you, whatever you with, I'm with it How you gon' cost a nigga that rockin' with you, I got you lit in the city I feel like he's still kind of referencing the shit going on with, um I can't even think of his bro name right now Jack Boy, there we go I still think he's still referencing Jack Boy, just because they the recent Two that's still being into it from being like when his close homies from before and shit like that. So y'all already know the beef that's going on between him and Jack Boy right now. It's just a, it's a lot of shit just keep adding on to their beef. It's like at one minute he wants them to be cool, but then the next minute it's like something else is being said. But I feel like their relationship right now, I think it's kind of getting further and further away from being able to be repaired just because of the simple fact Kodak is still gonna speak his mind and y'all already know how he is when he say shit so at the end of the day if it's gonna rub somebody the wrong way it's gonna rub them the wrong way period so at the end of the day i think this whole situation between them is kind of petty but at the end of the day it is what it is man but other than that kodak still be putting out fire music and shit so i still rock with him man because he definitely got a lot of music that a lot of people can really fuck with and vibe to and already like can pretty much say all right yeah some of the shit he's speaking on out of man through it type shit but other than that it is what it is so i'm not choosing sides in this beef at all i still rock with jack boy music as well jack boy got some good ass music too so other than that both of these artists are very great it's just a crazy situation that they had to go pretty much they separate ways man but other than that it is what it is though so we're gonna continue on I've been multitasking, rapping and being a daddy to my little kid. I've been standing on business and spinning and spinning and spinning until I'm dead. I ain't gonna lie, he ain't even lying though because ever since he been out of jail, he been dropping down there every month, always dropping some new shit. So I definitely rock with that shit, man, because a lot of the top artists ain't really dropping consistently like that, man. You got motherfuckers that'll drop a song for like like one or two songs in one month and then go on two to three months or more type shit but without dropping shit so it, with him he's constantly dropping shit so that's why too i also rock with this shit too because he always gonna you just know he gonna drop some shit every month period it don't matter what it is like he's gonna drop something but other than that definitely um speaking the truth to that he been grinding ever since he got out I do all the smack, he ain't never step a help with none of these kids. You doing a lot of cat watch when I catch him away in front of the witness. Damn, I knew you were tripping. We could have been superstars. Remember when we were jacking cars? See, that's what I said earlier. Yeah, he definitely referenced that Jack Boy for real. But other than that, it is what it is, though. Let's continue on. Now it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. Damn, I knew you tripping. See, stuff like that, man. The bitch word, you already know how it is when somebody call you a bitch. So that's why I said this, this relationship between them, I think it's far gone. I think it's over with. It's like... It's, it's a lot of shit being said that it's going to be hard to get, like, come back from and be friends afterwards type shit. It's, it's just, like I said, too much is being said, and it is what it is, though. So, other than that, I definitely think this is the end for him and Jack Boy. But we're going to continue on, man.
We could have been superstars. Yeah. Happy now, I'm reminiscing. Remember when we were taking cars? Now you better to keep your distance, cause it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. Track all with the kick, snatch off from the bitch. When I slide, nightlight on the blitz. Bet I'm on my shit when I'm outside. So them ran down, call them pants down. Nigga, you shit. I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it, cause I'm a criminal. Yeah, cut those bins, KTV, back door wide open. Wait till my snipe get out. All you niggas gon' die. Time run, bust no mind, pulling no house, stepping. Crush my arms, totally wood jet broke, no motion. Sleeping on sofas, creeping in highs like roaches. I done went cages, stages, the cages. Okay. Now free me, baby, can't keep me, baby. I beat them cases, they already hate me. They gon' want me dead when I'm on probation. Oh, yeah. Uh, comment down below, because I thought he still had a case that was going on. But if he beat that too there, hey, he definitely should just be out the way, man. Because at the end of the day, he's been in jail so many damn times at this point. Definitely just got to switch how you do shit and move and stuff like that. And just keep on the music shit. Because like I said, if he ain't never went to jail for all that time, he could have still been dropping heat for years on years and pretty much be way more bigger than what he is right now. Like, I feel like he could still get bigger than what he is currently. So, other than that, we gonna see, though, man. But it is what it is, though. He got a lot of people that's mad at him and shit, and then constantly in the headlines for shit that people been talking shit about. So, it is what it is, though, man. Like I said, Kodak is Kodak. He gonna say and do whatever he wanna do, and even if it rub people the wrong way, he just gonna continue on as if pretty much shit ain't really happening. Of course, he gonna talk about it in his songs because that's the current shit that's going on and the shit that's pretty much making him in the headlines and shit like that. So you always gonna see him dropping some music with something truth, some truth behind it pretty much at the end of the day all the time now. So it is what it is though. Let's continue on. Y'all think they look retarded. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, I promise. Niggas can't take me, niggas can't guard me. I be on the fuck, nigga ass like Charmin, AKA Twig ain't calling. We could have been superstars. Remember when we were taking cars? Now it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. Damn, I knew you tripping. We could have been superstars. Ain't happy now, I'm reminiscing. Remember when we were taking cars? Now you better to keep your distance, cause it's not safe for you. You switch like a pussy little bitch. Track out with the kick, snatch off on the bit. When I slide, nightlight on the blick. Bet I'm on my shit when I'm outside. So they don't run now, call them pants down. Nigga, you shit it. I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it, cause I'm a grandma. Yeah, we could be superstars. Super grandma. Yeah, man, this is definitely a banger, though. But, yeah, you know, like, who he specifically talking about in this song for sure, man. But other than that, that's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction to this video, make sure you sub up right now if you haven't already. And also, don't forget to tell your family and friends about the channel as well. And hopefully, they become supporters of the channel. And make sure you guys smash that like button and comment on the video to help the video get recommended to a larger audience of people and hopefully bring a new support to the channel as well. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified when I drop new videos. And be sure you don't miss out on new videos that I drop. Check out the channel every day before you go to bed, sometime in the morning when you wake up or sometime throughout the day in general. And also don't forget to add and follow me on social media, man. Go turn my social media up. But with that being said, that's officially the end of the vid. And I'm going to catch you guys later on with more videos. So stay tuned. Peace.